What up, it's your boy, the Incredible Manny. Yes, I am back at it again. And this is Black Clover episode 137. And oh my gosh, I can't, I can't take Black Clover. <laughs> the filler is hilarious. Let's get into it, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it, so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes So, I guessed it right on the money Every, I'm assuming every filler episode is gonna be broken down like this Where we get highlighted on certain characters individually throughout each episode And this week, it just so happened to be Charmy and Gordon and Charmy's whole tidbit, uh, to, it was, Charmy's was fantastic. And Gordon's was great, but it only involved Gordon. And I'm glad that he got that development that he needed, but um, it didn't really involve like the rest of the uh, members. But I love that it gave some insight into Gordon because we see Gordon this episode. He comes to a real realization that, you know, now that he's outspoken a little bit more, He's relying on his friends now. He knows that he doesn't have to be alone anymore and he doesn't want to be alone, that he wants to be involved and around his friends. Granted that when he had this flashback about his friends, like, you know, <laughs> and he mentioned that, that he was involved in all of these things. He wasn't, he was just there. <laughs> but it, it was nice to have that moment from Gordon because we know that he was always, when we were first introduced to the series, that he was always off to the side and he whispered. And that's who Gordon was. But now you can definitely tell that he's a full-fledged member of the Black Bulls. He's outspoken a lot more. And dude, it was pure comedic gold when he was in the forest. And he made all of these little wooden figures of the members of the Black Bulls. And when he was mimicking Asta, Magna Luck, <laughs> Ghost, <laughs> Gray. <laughs> It was fantastic, man. I really love seeing that side of Gordon. And I love the fact that, granted, it only took over 100 and something episodes. But, well, maybe like nine. I think it was like at 80 or 90 or something. But anyway, it only took th that many amount of episodes for us to get Gordon to be outspoken. And we can understand what he's saying and everything. But I really, really enjoyed seeing him come to that realization that, you know, hey, I like being around my friends. I like needing my friends and I like my friends needing me and I don't have to be isolated. I don't have to be alone anymore. And Gordon got that realization and he even made friends with the wolves and he attacked him out of, I guess, you know, maybe like uh, trying to strength, strengthen himself. And he realized that, you know, I need to be a loner. I mean, he realized that he didn't need to be a loner to get things done. You can get things done with your team members because you guys are family, man. And I love that. Now, Charmy, oh my God! Don't get me wrong, I love Gordon's little um moment, but Charmy's was absolutely fantastic. We see Charmy going off on this mini journey. It was a very short montage, and oh my gosh! Then we have the chef pop up at the uh Black Bulls base, and Noel and Yami are the only two. They're like, yeah, that's that's fine. Who are you? <laughs> and Charmy's, you know, she. She's wanting to strengthen her um, food to, you know, make um, the other members stronger. And her going on this journey, her finding the chef and everything. He's like, can you train me? He's like, yeah, I can, shrimp. <laughs> and so they, they had her training. It was a mini montage. And then she brought back this weird looking, nasty looking food. And there, and nobody wanted to eat it. They're like, no, I'm not. Look at, look at this. And... <laughs> The food came to life. The food came to life and they and it started attacking everybody. And the chef was like, mm, it's demon food. <laughs> and the funniest moment of the whole episode, when Noel mentioned, it was like, you just made that up right there. <laughs> and, and the chef was like, well, you know. <laughs> but it was so fun. And I'm really loving the fact that the filler is highlighting um, each character individually. And I think that's great. And yeah, it's, it's strengthening them magic wise here and there, but it's more so we're getting the character development that we didn't get for these characters along in the series. The, yeah, a lot of the characters got character development in with throughout the series, but now we can see some of these members, especially core members of our favorite group, 
and see them develop a little bit more than what we we were seeing in the actual part of the series. And I love it. I really, really do. We see Charmy, um, uh, she's fishing, she's fighting the Sasquatch. So it was so much fun, man. And I really, really loved it. And then we see Asta decide to take on the monster. And it was like, no, we can't destroy it because Charmy Senpai put her heart and soul into this, man. So we have to, we have to eat it. And then they ate it and Charmy had her whole little realization that, you know, cooking food without any heart or love to it won't taste the same and it can strengthen their magic but it won't have any it won't have good taste to it and asta told her that and you know her and the chef was like well now we got to start from scratch so it was just a nice fun episode it wasn't too much going on but like i said um last week it's going to highlight different characters each week individually and show and showcasing them with character development and progressing a little bit more in their mana power in within them as a character and i loved it man this is your buddy incredible don't forget to smash the like button till you can't smash any more comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life man peace out so petty, yeah. i cannot complain